Hey, Mike here with Ring Partner again. Wanted to go over some keyword research and some tips and tricks that we use in order to start creating a Google AdWords campaign. And it starts with keyword research and then you can use those keywords to quickly begin to structure your campaign and sort the ad groups out. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna create some keyword ideas for uh, a Sylvan learning campaign. And so there's a couple of quick and easy tools that I use to start to generate those lists. So what I'm going to do is go to the Google Keyword Planner tool and I'm going to paste in the URL of the site that I'm going to be promoting and have Google suggest some keyword ideas for that campaign. So we'll just paste the URL, we'll say get ideas and Google will then actually create uh, ad groups with campaign with keywords inside of them uh, so it's already well structured this is likely how Google would would prefer to see the campaign based on relevancy because this is using Google's logic to build out these ad groups and keywords but what we're really looking for is the keyword ideas so I would take this list here and I would likely download all of the keywords uh, into Excel and quickly have a look at what keywords are in there. So there's about 800 keywords featured here. And so you can take that list uh, and get started. But what you really want to do in order to create the most relevant possible campaigns is start taking the keywords out of here and plunking them into Excel and combining them together. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So. You, you take the keyword Sylvan, you take the keyword learning, you take center, centers, systems, online, tutoring, and you start to put those in Excel. So let's just hop over to Excel and we'll start to place those in here. So we would start with Sylvan and we'd have learning and center. And then you would also have uh, centers or system uh, you could have tutoring and then you start to combine uh, groups of keywords together so this might be a good keyword these also might be good keywords but all of them together would also be good keywords and since we're targeting mobile traffic here it's unlikely that people are going to put in more than three or four keywords. So you don't need to add uh, going on forever here. What you really want is sort of top three keyword uh, combinations. So Google Keyword Tool is one of the uh, tools that I use to create those campaigns. The other one that I use as well, that's a great spy tool, is Keyword Spy. So again, you can plunk in the domain and hit search and you can start to see what types of keywords uh, are being advertised on and you can actually see some of the competitors and, and do a little bit of uh, competitive analysis to see what other uh, advertisers or publishers are advertising on and then start to um, borrow or benchmark from their campaign so you can see there's a couple other ideas like adding the state or adding com for uh, advertising on dot com terms or test let's check out a few more here and really I'm just looking for ideas for how to create uh, a keyword list so SATs education you know cities uh, combination of the whole world together sorry the whole uh, keywords together and so if we just go back to Excel and we'll just add a couple of those in as well um, so we can add in like San Diego, Oops. San Diego and Houston. And you can go on and on uh, forever like this, but what you're gonna wanna do with these keywords is then you can either combine it in Excel or you can use a simple tool like Keyword Extend and that's just keywordextend.com. And what this will allow you to do is combine the keywords together to generate that list. So we'll take Sylvan and we'll take our group of other keywords and add them into each of these columns. And then what Keyword Extend is going to do is going to mash those keywords together 
to start creating a list of keywords for you. Now, the beauty of this is that these are now hyper, hyper targeted and super relevant uh, keywords within this group. So we'll just quickly grab that. We know these are keywords that, that people are gonna search for that are super relevant to Sylvan. Uh, and you don't have to go on and on extensively with keywords. You can just use a small subset. Obviously something more than this, I would say around 500 to 800 keywords. If you wanna go as far as a thousand to a couple thousand, that's fine as well. But you really want hyper, hyper relevant keywords to the campaign. So then we'll go back and in a new sheet in Excel, we'll start to build out this campaign. So we'll just paste these keywords in. And then from here, you can, you can use Excel to start building your campaign. So uh, our titles, what's the campaign name? So Sylvan um, campaign, whatever we want to call it and the keyword, or sorry, the ad group, the keyword, and then the match type. And so this is actually beginning the structures of our template for a Google AdWords editor campaign. So I like to use the modified broad keywords. I feel like it keeps it relevant, but also gives you some extra uh, keyword searches outside of your exact term. So the modified broad is a uh, use plus signs in front of each keyword. So in order to add those plus signs, we're just gonna do a find and replace. And we're gonna replace every space with a space plus. And there we go, we're complete. And this is a tip that I learned from Leonidas over at premium23.com with uh, some of his great posts online there. Uh, this is something that he uh, explained as well. And so this column here is your ad group. And this column here will be your keywords. So if you do a equals quotation plus and quotation again, uh, use the ampersand and then select the cell to the left and hit enter. What this is going to do is create your modified broad keyword. And again, that's a great tip from Leonidas over at premium23.com. And I definitely suggest go checking out his videos and sign up for his premium posts as well. So now if you just double click on the corner here, it builds all of your keywords right to the bottom. Now you can select broad and again, double click and you've got all of your keywords and finally for the campaign. So now you've got something that you can take, easily plunk into AdWords editor, paste this in and begin creating your campaign. So that's just some quick and easy ideas for how to get started uh, building your first uh, paper call campaign, creating hyper, hyper relevant keywords that Google will uh, appreciate and it should be able to drive a decent amount of calls for you. Something to note here as well is the campaign that I've created here, there's only one keyword per ad group. And with paper call campaigns, this is a good way to track because you know that the keyword inside of each ad group uh, is the one that's converting. You don't need to wonder if it's you know, one of 10 or 20 keywords that's driving the traffic. You know that it is just that one from that one ad group. So if you have any uh, more questions, feel free to reach out to your distribution partner manager or email distribution at ringpartner.com. You can also call us at 1-888-656-3726. And we're on Skype. The username is ringpartner. Thanks and good luck with your new campaign.